Last episode on One Piece D&D Marines, we had our group getting back to Branch 101 HQ to deliver malice, just to find out that Marines basically have signed a deal with the Seven Sisters and now they're kinda working together. Branch 101 got a call from Commodore Jiro, Kai's uncle, and Kai and him had a shocking conversation about the possibility of Kai's grandfather still roaming in the Grand Line. Kai then got a talk with Joy and we found out her backstory in the 12th episode. Our group finally got a mission to capture a pirate, they had a choice between the three and they chose Nameless Mime Captain. Damien got promoted to Ensign and now he's responsible for the group's rankings. He upped everyone by one except for Kai. They set sail for the last known hideout of the Mimes, found them, took care of them and Bradley accidentally decapitated the guy, but out of nowhere show up two guys named Little Fella and Big Fella and the fight with them begins. Big Fella knocks out Yokan and the episode 12 ends. Roll the 13th episode. 13th episode starts with a fight, Little Fella speaking all the same racist shit and Bradley got really annoyed and wasn't even hiding anymore. Damien took out a little fella and then group ganged up on big fella and he went down quickly as well. Damien decided to investigate Mime Pirate's hideout but it turns out all they had was a tent and all the other stuff was purely created by Captain's Delafruit. Also, Damien searches around and finds a hidden chest of treasure. Kai and Yokan sail up to the boat of the racist human pirates and they hear some other people talking on a ship. Kai decides to send Bell to pull away the attention and strike them from behind, but Kai slips and Yokan basically takes out two guys in four attacks. They group all the racist pirates together and decide to question them. They wake little fella up and he basically says that the main boss, Hugh Man, is on a grand line, but there is a separate division of human pirates in the West Blue controlled by the person named Bob. They awake the other guy and he says that the main base is on a duck island, which is apparently a hometown of Quackington. Also on a ship, they had pirate wanted posters and marine photos of people they were hunting and Quackington was on that list. Bradley asks about his sister Selina and what they know about her, a little fella answers that there are some pirates in their crew who don't just kill unhuman creatures but do some other horrible stuff. Damien rings up Bailey and reports on what happened. Bailey does say that those human pirates killed everyone on that duck island except for Quackington. Bradley asks Quackington if he wants to ride and Quackington answers yes. They stop at Bollywood to pick up Quackington and there is some fun fact is that Bailey is the youngest captain in the marines and she also adds that after this dangerous mission our group might be assigned to Grand Line base. Kai and Bradley go to hospital and they meet Dr. Salt there who is very happy to see our guys and is very thankful for saving the city, saying how supplies and generally everything started to go much more easily after they took Kibbleton down. For that, he for free gives 10 medkits to our group. He also mentions Joy and how she helps a lot. He mentions how he's gonna have dinner with her in downtown and Kai basically not understanding social interaction awkwardly invites himself. By the way, now city is just filled with pizza places and Kai and Bradley ventured in. They sail away in the end and as they got closer to the duck island, they just saw corpses of ducks hanging before the island. The island itself is very small and Quackington, who is at the wheel steering, got very angry with that and was hurrying up. As Quackington was rushing, people on the island noticed our ship and yelled freaks and the fight began. Suddenly, Bob himself shows up and after seeing him, Quackington goes nuts and pulls out his AK-47 and starts blasting. It turns out Bob set mines everywhere and on the battlefield and when confronting Damien, pulled out a giant cannon which he shot and from the impact, wooden floor underneath them broke and they fell down. Damien noticed that actually Bob has no legs and has plastic artificial limbs. Taiga says it's taiga time and the episode ends to be continued. 
Also, fun trivia, Bradley's sister Selena is 20 years old and she is a sea snake. Also, Bradley has a scar on his ass. Okay, bye.